Hi boys and girls. Today is Thursday, March 4th, and we are going to do phonics together today. For phonics, you're going to need this page. Okay, first, um, I don't know, you might have this book at home, you might not have this book at home. If you have it at home, compose it and go get it. If you don't have it at home, then you can just follow along as I read it. It is called Be Bold and Show It. So it means be like proud of things that you can do. Okay, so we're going to be thinking about, whoops, dropped my pencil. O-A and O-W at long O, okay? Be bold and show. There's an O-W word, show it. Page two. Have you heard making things can be fun? You can use paint and clay. You can use sand and snow. Let's see what these kids made. So here's an OW word, snow. Snow fell, but no one told Jim it's too cold to play. His coat is keeping him toasty. Jim made a snowman. We have had lots of snow, haven't we, this winter? None right now, but. So we have O-W, snow, no, there's a spelling word. Um, told and cold uh, have O, but it's not exactly what we're talking about, O-A and O-W. Coat, toasty and snowman have that O sound. Page four. These kids made a sand castle. Whoops, sorry. The kids piled up sand and patted it. Go get mom before the waves come up and it falls. I should have read that with more excited voice, right? Go get mom before the waves come up and it falls. Go, go. So go is like no, long O. Hmm, that's the only word on that page. These kids began with a lump of clay. Get hold of some clay and mold it. What can happen? You can make a bowl, a boat, or a snake. So you have ol, ol, oat. And the last page. So get set and make things. Be bold and show the things you make. People will think you are a pro. A pro, a professional. <laughs> a professional artist, right? So this week we have been talking about OA. O W, making long O, but then there are words that just end in O, like our spelling word no. So remembering that O A makes an O sound, O W makes an O sound. Now let's have your paper out. What we're going to start on this side. So we are going to. Um, Look at the pictures in each row, and I'll tell you what the pictures are. You can either color or circle. You can circle with crayon or circle with pencil. <clears throat> Ones that rhyme, okay? So number one, we have 
nose, toes, hose, pot. So you're circling all the ones that rhyme. I'm going to give you a hint. There's three. Nose, toes, hose, pot. Number two. Bone, box, cane, cone. Bone, box, cane, cone. Circling the ones that rhyme. Number three. Coat, boat, gate, goat. Coat, boat, gate, goat. Number four. Row, bow, robe, toe. Row, bow, robe, toe. And number five. Soap, dog, rope. Donkey. Seems like a weird one that they put in there. Soap, dog, rope, donkey. Maybe mule. I think it's probably mule. Still, it's not going to make a difference, is it? Soap, dog, rope, mule. So, rhyming on this side. This side you're going to do on your own, where you are circling the word and writing the word that goes in the sentence. Pictures are there to help you. This should be pretty easy. I'm trying to see if there's anything that you might have a hard time with. I think you I think you can read all these. So you are circling the word and writing the word that goes in the sentence. Okay. So remembering this week O A O W making long O sounds, sometimes just O, like no, go, pro, like it said in that um, book, O-A and O-W this week. I think you guys got it. I, I'm pretty sure you guys, you guys are doing awesome this week. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.